What is up, beautiful people? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can sustainably lose body fat and how not to do it. Let's get this shit started. I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging here. March 16th to the 20th, I'm going to be in South Beach. And yeah, we're going to be making some content, vlogs, etc. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Also going to enjoy a cupcake that I'm not going to track today. The majority of the meals today, today's going to be an essential diet break. The past three weeks, I've been tracking every gram of food I've been eating. So today's going to be a little bit of break of that. I'm going to be tracking two to three large meals. Then when I go to my mother's tonight, she's doing a Sunday dinner. Love you, mom. We're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing a Sunday dinner. I'm not going to track the macros on that. I'm just going to kind of enjoy myself, whatever it may be. Maybe have a cup of wine, maybe not. I don't know. But for now, let's get into this fucking amazing looking cupcake. Man, this has cream filling in the inside too. You ever have those uh, Napoleon cakes, I think is what it's called. It's literally that in a muffin. The shit is bomb, bro. All right, guys, so I want to dive right into my talking points here for a second. So number one, the most important thing is to create a sustainable diet so you can gradually lose body fat over a given time period. So for example, if you know you're going on vacation with your family 12 weeks from now, you're going to obviously want to put yourself in a caloric deficit off of your maintenance calories. The deficit is going to allow you to cut back body fat. Now, one thing I want to mention real quick is weight loss is not the same as fat loss. So the goal here is to maintain muscle mass while cutting back sustainably. So point number one, the more gradual, the better. But this also goes hand in hand with the timeline that you have in your given circumstance, right? Aggressive cuts are not always a win. I'm sorry, they're not. And as a matter of fact, aggressive cuts are not sustainable and you will eventually hit a plateau. In my scenario, I had five weeks to cut back for this vacation. My friend Brandon and I booked to South Beach, which you guys will see him real soon in the vlogs. But the objective here was just to lose fat, right? I had such a small time period to do so. And is it healthy? No, it's not healthy, but you need to create the timeline for yourself. cardio more often now that you're on a cut so your deficit is obviously here you're going to implement cardio as well the more calories burned the more fat you are going to lose now this also goes hand in hand with my next point which i'm going to be talking about in a second so if you have a 12-week time period this is all arbitrary of course so if you have a 12-week time period you're going to cut back your calories to 150 to 200 calories implement cardio twice a week week 10 you're going to scale back your calories even more so instead of doing two 10 minute cardio periods on top of that you're going to be doing two 20 minute cardio periods on top of that this is not my advice to you individually if you need help cutting and sustainably losing fat hit me in the dms in the comments etc i would love to help you guys individually so this is the next meal i'm not really gonna give you a full breakdown of the macros but give you a little bit of a rundown so three servings, whole wheat pasta, 50 grams of part skin mozzarella. So 228 grams of chicken grilled with the chili lime seasoning pre-salted. Red pepper, cayenne obviously. Now I'm going to divide the chicken up into two servings. Part of it for post-workout. And yeah. Just arrived here at my mom's place at 8 o'clock. They're all done with the dinner, which... Now I'm kind of getting an understanding of what the wealthy mean when they say that they miss out on large family events because you're constantly working. 
I was so dedicated to pushing out content today that I just, I missed this unfortunately, but you guys need to hit that like button, support me. Tell me you have a brother without telling me you have a brother. in the morning you won't be able to check in till like 10 hours later practically yeah you need to know that you paid for everything already mm. where are you gonna put your stuff all day you be walking around with that not quite sure yet we're probably gonna go paddle boarding at night there's this uh airbnb activity that's paddle boarding at night and it's it's right under the miami buildings with all the lights and all that stuff so we're gonna do that which we have to book still we'll that's that that's really it though Number three is gonna be hit your macronutrients and hit your micronutrients. So macronutrients, carbs, fat, protein. Protein is obviously the most important. This is the building blocks of your muscle and it's gonna allow you to sustain the muscle in which you've built in either the bulk or the maintenance period that you've been in, right? So pretty obvious there. Micronutrients is also incredibly important for A, maintaining a state of a state of not being hungry and maintaining a state of high energy levels, which, you know, if you're cutting back your calories, you can't anticipate you're going to keep the same level of energy you have, you know, at the beginning of it, as opposed to week eight, right? So obviously you're going to want to hit your micronutrients or your fiber intake, all that good stuff. This is going to allow you to create sustainability and maintain that muscle mass. So I hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button, subscribe. I love you all. Check the TikTok, I'm doing workout videos on there. I'm gonna be making vlogs, content, photo shoots for the gram, all that sort of stuff. All of this inspired Nick D. Check out the content. Love you all, stay tuned. And thank you so much for this opportunity to talk to you guys. Work more, achieve more, aspire more, and become the better version of yourself.